Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 to 6 through 6.1.6 .6 on Windows. Now this is a tutorial I've needed to make for quite some time until here's my iPod Touch 4 running iOS 6.1.6. .6. And I have successfully done this method on this iPhone 3GS right here. As you can tell, I am jailbroken. So, yeah. You'll probably be doing it on either an iPhone 3GS or an iPod Touch 4 too. So, what you, so the first thing that you need is you need is I highly recommend is that you need to know that this Poisex phone, the old versions. Uh, this is not a Mac tutorial, by the way. Do not use the Mac OS method because it's going to be very di different than the Windows method, which is why I'm explaining. This tool is known for being very buggy. It is known for crashing a lot. And so you just need to be aware of that that it is known for crashing. And so if you do encounter, and so in order to guarantee your best success, I recommend I recommend making sure that you're using Windows 7, 8, 8.1, XP, Vista, one of those older versions of Windows rather than 10 or 11. You're not completely out of luck if you're on Windows 10 or 11, though. Again, that just helps, and so if you don't have a Windows, an older Windows computer, don't panic. Don't panic, and one thing that you know for sure you will need is you will need iTunes 11, 11.2 right here, and you will need it either for the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version, depending on your system. Mine is 64-bit, so I'll download the 64-bit version prior to it the making this video and so yeah and make sure you have a known good th cable to connect your device to your computer and yeah let's get started with the tutorial so the first thing that you need to do is you need to is this is only necessary if you have a newer version of itunes installed on your computer as you can tell i did just for this demonstration so what you need to do is you need to okay a very important thing that i just forgot to mention if you get this error right here that is okay what you need to do is you need to go into your file explorer go into music go into itunes and hit and hit delete right here go on windows 10 and 11 you have to search for control panel i don't and i think on windows 8 you have to too on windows 7 you can just go into start and click on control panel then go to programs uninstall a program and anything published by apple any tools made by Apple Inc. you're going to want to remove, ex unless you are on a Mac that is boot camp to Windows, which in that case, just use the my Mac tutorial, which I'll link down below in the description, as far a far better method than this. So you'll want to uninstall anything made by Apple, other than that weird case, though most of you guys are gonna be doing this on a regular PC. So if you're doing this on a PC, just uninstall everything made by Apple just like that. And I'll get back to you once everything is uninstalled. All right, so now we're done with that. Now what you need to do is you need to go go into, go locate your iTunes 11.2 installer, click run, and just install it. It, it might give you a few pop-ups. Do you want to allow this? As we all know, Windows does. Just hit allow on everything. And yeah, yeah, I'll be back to you once iTunes 11.2 is installed. All right, so now I've gotten that out of the way. Now, now you should be good to go to open up Poisex Phone. And if you have, and to assure best compatibility, it's best, it's best to go into properties. Make sure it's set to run as administrator compatibility. And hit service Windows XP service pack two, apply, okay, and then it should run just fine. I didn't have to do this, but you can. As you can tell, right here is detecting my device. Device. So now, which so now you just hit the jailbreak button, and this is a weird part where it just decides makes you reboot reboots your device back to the home screen at first. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So, okay. Let's 
So I'm just waiting. And now as you can tell, it lit up, so it's getting close to rebooting. And yes, this isn't that as my face and setup. Now don't do anything on your device nor unplug it. You're nowhere near done. As you can tell, City is not on the home screen. Oh. There we go. It might take a second to plug. And now this this is right here it says performing magic. This is where it tends. To... Oh my gosh. Performing magic is where it tends to crash. Jailbreak fair. Okay, it still seems to keep going though. Okay. Again, I'm gonna include these issues in because I if I'm having these issues and you will too, then you might too. Okay, let's try this again. Just to be safe. Save, I'm going to actually run this in compatibility mode for Windows 7. Okay. Now let's hit jailbreak again. Waiting for device to reboot. Again, just go show you how failure prone the old Poisex phone can be. Waiting for reboot. It's lighting up again. Do not unplug your device. Wait for it to plug in. Okay, there we go. It's plugging. Performing magic. This is again where it tends to crash. Now iTunes, get out of here. Now copying untethered payloads to device. Okay, this is working. Okay, this jailbreak is working now. Pony Apple mobile file integrity, which I have no idea what that is, but okay. Two out of three. This jailbreak goes by very quickly, and as you can tell, it gives a big thanks to Winocom, IH8 Snow, Squiffy Pwn, Planet Bean, Pims X, and Comics for this jailbreak tool. They're all as their big jailbreaking community because they've been long time developers as this tool was made back when iOS 6 jailbreaks were okay now it is done so now because his iPod's battery is finicky I'm just gonna leave it plugged in though now your device may reboot a few times so, it usually just reboots once for me, though. I'll get back to you once it has rebooted. As you can tell, my device is now rebooted, and as you can tell, it is now we are now jailbroken. So, it's just preparing a file system now, and you'll have to do all your normal Cydia stuff. Now, as you can tell right here, if you are like me, and once you've updated Cydia, everything to complete upgrade if we wait for it to load again this is just a demonstration of how slow how slow internet tasks are on iOS 6 yes I know the ultra snow repo is offline as you can tell Cydia is now on we are now geo geo broken however let me get that let me get the brightness down. Hang on, can I get the brightness down? There we go. Okay, so once you've gotten the brightness, so once we get the brightness down, now this is just an optional thing, though. Now, if you have issues with internet browsing and such due to internet, 
a certificate that expired back in twenty back in twenty back in October twenty twenty one on uh, that affects iOS nah no, five through ten. What you need to do is you need to go to the site cydia.invoxyplaygames.uk slash certificates and you need to just go there install the certificate and just like that boom you shouldn't eh. that's more of an optional thing again i didn't really do this on my iphone 3gs and i'm still fine though again i haven't really messed with the jailbreak on my ios 6 iphone 3gs so you should that's more of an optional thing though otherwise you are now success, success successfully jailbroken your iowa iowa 6 device thank you all for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give this video a, a like and please subscribe to my channel as always i am the itunes fanboy and peace out So yeah, I will put this clip in before before you I'll put this clip in before you I'll put this clip in before before the uninstall every all Apple drivers clip.